On May 16, 1865, Governor John A. Andrew of Massachusetts signed a law creating the first statewide law enforcement agency in the nation. Over the years, that agency's name and function has evolved. In 2015, the Massachusetts State Police celebrated its 150th anniversary. The following is some of the rich history of the Massachusetts State Police, as well as a look at what our troopers do across this great commonwealth. Most of these first officers were veterans of the Civil War, including the agency's head, General William Sterling King. The earliest duties of this statewide agency were the enforcement of the state alcohol prohibition laws, which had gone largely unheeded in local jurisdictions. In 1921, Governor Channing Cox established the State Police Patrol, and today's MSP began to take shape. Troop headquarters were established, as were strategically located substations, which gave the department a footprint throughout the Commonwealth. Troopers have always assisted with security for presidents and dignitaries when they visit the state. In the atmosphere of social change and unrest that defined the late 1960s and early 1970s, members of the Massachusetts State Police responded to riots at Harvard Square and at the state prison at Walpole. They were on hand to assist in enforcing the Boston busing desegregation. From 1865 through 1971, Massachusetts state troopers resided at the barracks for their tour of duty. With the ending of the live-in barrack system, each trooper was issued their own cruiser and is expected to be available to be recalled to duty at a moment's notice. When I started my career as a state trooper in 1980, I was one of only a dozen women on the state police. 30 years later, on December 9, 2009, I was sworn in as the first woman to serve as the Colonel of the Massachusetts State Police. Today, the department employs over 120 women. We understand the importance of having a diverse agency that reflects the population we proudly serve. That's why we've increased our recruitment efforts to meet our goal of making the Massachusetts State Police more racially and ethnically diverse than ever. In 1992, the Registry of Motor Vehicles, the Capitol, and the Metropolitan District Commission Police Forces merged with the Massachusetts State Police under the newly created Department of State Police. That same year, the Academy was relocated to New Braintree and the headquarters moved to the old Academy in Framingham. Times have changed, and so have the Massachusetts State Police. The heart of these changes takes place at the Massachusetts State Police Academy, where each trainee is forged into a Massachusetts State Trooper. At the State Police Academy, young men and women experience the most realistic law enforcement training in the country. Recruits learn criminal law and procedure, defensive tactics, drill and ceremony, and become proficient in a variety of weapon systems. Most importantly, they develop and hone the attention to detail and observational skills that will make them effective police officers. Skills that could one day save their life or the lives of others. Today's academy is a state-of-the-art facility which allows instructors to create a variety of realistic scenarios in which recruits can translate what they have learned in the classroom into real life. While the trainees of previous eras practice horsemanship and motorcycle riding, today's trainees learn how to deal with the complexities of policing in the modern era, computer-based crimes, interacting with the homeless, addressing the opiate crisis. The duties of a Massachusetts state trooper include policing local towns in the western reaches of the state, patrolling urban banks and parkways in the city of Boston, in addition to patrolling the state's highways. Today, as always, the most iconic image of an MSP trooper is the road trooper. The road, formerly known as the Division of Field Services, 
is the backbone of the Massachusetts State Police. All new troopers begin here, riding with experienced officers for three months. Operating out of barracks, located strategically throughout the state, each station is fully staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some days on the road are relatively routine, investigating vehicle crashes, enforcing motor vehicle laws, assisting disabled motorists, and answering calls for service. But as any road trooper knows, one of the hallmarks of police work is that a day can go from mundane to extraordinary at a moment's notice. Troopers put their training and experience to use proactively, seeking out drunk and impaired drivers. They might find themselves administering Narcan at the scene of an overdose, locating a missing child in an urban park, conducting multiple interviews at a crime scene, or completing a complex investigation into the cause of a fatal vehicle crash. There are many special events that the state police are assigned to, including the Boston Marathon, the 4th of July celebration on the Esplanade, New England Patriot Games, music concerts, and the head of the Charles Regatta, to name a few. When tragedy strikes, as it did at the end of the 2013 Boston Marathon, nearly every section and unit in the state police is called upon to assist. And for neighborhoods that lived in fear for an entire day, we are eternally grateful for the outcome here tonight. We have a suspect in custody. Law enforcement has adapted in the age of the internet and terrorism in the United States. After graduating from the academy and getting some experience on patrol, troopers can train to patrol on motorcycles, horses, boats, bicycles, ATVs, and even in helicopters. You may want to train for any of a number of specialized fields within the state police organization. He may be assigned to a special detail at the Logan Airport outside of Boston, where dogs are used for patrol. Logan is the only airport in the country which relies entirely upon the state police for its security. State troopers are on hand or on the clock to deal with virtually any crisis from a bomb threat to an emergency medical situation. There are experts in many specialized areas of state police work. Ballistics, for example, Massachusetts was the first to establish a special section for this very important area of criminal investigation. Members of the Special Tactical Operations, also known as the STOP Team, are a hand-picked elite group of officers who are only accepted to the team after grueling rounds of testing. The team is used for high-risk entries and is activated in hostage situations for dignitary protection and whenever their expertise, training, and firepower can help defuse a volatile situation. Today's troopers work on and in the water as well as on land. The Marine unit is based in Boston at the head of the Charles River, where they patrol Boston Harbor, the Charles River, and the Mystic River. They form an integral part of the department's Homeland Security mission, patrolling the Commonwealth's critical marine infrastructure. The Underwater Recovery Unit, also known as the Dive Team, works hand-in-hand -hand with the Marine Unit. These specially trained divers ply their trade in the most extreme conditions off the coast of Massachusetts and in its rivers and lakes. In what are often murky, low-visibility conditions, MSP divers are able to recover evidence and perform security sweeps of cruise ships and piers. State police detectives investigate homicides and other serious crimes. They battle the ongoing problems with drugs and gangs conduct surveillance and intelligence gathering, and scour crime scenes for evidence. In every major urban area, the state police gang unit aggressively targets violent criminal organizations involved in illegal weapons and narcotic trafficking with local police and federal agents. The Violent Fugitive Apprehension Section, or VFAS, makes sure the most dangerous wanted fugitives are brought to justice. At the MSP Crime Lab, specially trained officers conduct crime scene and ballistic testing, pouring over evidence that could identify those responsible for shootings, house breaks, and other crimes throughout the state. They respond to and process crime scenes and analyze evidence using state-of-the-art techniques. The lab is an internationally accredited facility that accepts evidence from local police departments, state police units, and federal agencies. 
At the Commonwealth Fusion Center, local, state, and federal agencies work together to ensure the success of the Homeland Security mission. Intelligence analysts provide important case support, share information on suspicious activity and threats to our critical infrastructure. The civilian employees of the MSP are the cog that keeps everything going. From fleet to human resources, fiscal and payroll, supply and dispatch. State police, 911, this line is recorded. Where is your emergency? All play a vital role in keeping the department moving. Each member of the department, past, present, and future, plays a part in our service to the Commonwealth and the success of the ongoing mission of the Massachusetts State Police. The bond of those drawn to serve to protect the Commonwealth and its citizens is a strong one. Only those willing to rush in to confront danger, to keep others safe, are called to stand with their brothers and sisters. Each hopes the day will never come when they must make the ultimate sacrifice. Each prepared to do so every day they go to work. When one falls, it touches everyone. The entire Massachusetts State Police family mourns along with officers from across the nation. We stand united to honor a fallen brother, a part of us lost forever, but never forgotten. I am willing, my bride, I can't help wonder why do those that lie here know why did they die and did they believe when they answered the call did they really believe that this war would end war for the sorrow the suffering the glory the pain the killing and the dying was all done in vain for young willie my bride it all happened again and again and again and again and again did they beat the drum slowly did they play the fight slowly did they sound the death march as they lowered you down did the band play the last post and chorus did the pipes Lay the flowers of the forest Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife slowly? Did they sound the death march As they lowered you down? Did the band play the last chord and chorus? Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest? The mission of the Massachusetts State Police goes on, evolving with society and technology as we look toward the future. The mission never ends. Station G to H2 cruises, one call of a road rage incident with a handgun shown in the Newton rest area. Vehicle continued south on 128. 206 received, I'll be in route from route one. The vehicle is a dark colored Toyota Camry operated by two white males. The caller states he was cut off and the driver pointed a silver handgun at him. 